there is nothing more satisfying. I mean, there are things which are satisfying, but there is nothing more satisfying than eating heartful and still being lean. Keep watching to know more. Hello everyone, I am Manisha Mehta, your own clinical dietitian and sports nutritionist and you are on my YouTube channel Re Nourish with Manisha. If you are a regular viewer, thank you so much for coming back and make sure that you have clicked the bell icon so that you never miss out on any of my videos. And if you are new here, then make sure that you subscribe the channel by clicking on the red box. It's free. In this video, I am going to share the three components of the ultimate body transformation equation. You will be able to know why it is called 70% diet and 30% exercise or it is said that ads are made in the kitchen and make sure that you watch till the end because in the end I have a very special recipe for everyone. When it comes to changing anything about the body shape and size, it majorly depends on two principles, damage and repair. Remember how in class 5th we were told that protein is for wear and tear repairing? Just in a while it will all make sense. Our body goes through a lot of damage on an everyday basis. Now when I say damage, I mean that the changes which happen in the body which are detrimental but they are also repaired on an everyday basis. For example, light reaction in the eyes, free radical or toxin production in the body, cell death which happens on an everyday basis. But in this video, I am going to majorly focus on muscle tear. No, I don't mean this type of muscle tear, but I mean the muscle tear which happens because of our daily activities, our workout, our movements, chemical bond between our muscle fibers get broken which are essentially needed to be repaired on an everyday basis. Now, I hope you have a trainer who knows his or her science, but whenever you do any kind of workout, you basically increase the damage that you have. What? Damage? No, I don't want damage. And why should I work out then? Because when we work out, we create a calculated and quantified damage in our body, which is point number one of the body transformation equation, quantified damage. Its quantification can be done by your personal trainer, depending on how much damage you can endure, which will depend on your health conditions and your body conditioning. But bottom line is that workout is actually just a damage to the body and if you aren't able to quantify the repair for it, then it will do more harm than good. Your joints, skin, hair, your body parameters, they can go for a toss if you are not able to repair the damage which you have done in the workout. This brings us to the second component of the ultimate body transformation equation which is nutrition. Now if at all you are among those people who think that I'll work out 2 hours in the morning and then 2 hours in the evening, I don't need anything else then this video trust me is not for you because what i'm going to tell you you might not like because there is also a concept of overtraining and according to the research conclusions written in the personal training module literature by the american council of exercise there is an array of negative issues which can occur if you overtrain and the harmful effects are both physical and psychological that is why it's so important that you have an educated personal trainer hey wait i want repair i need repair this is the time when the statement protein is for wear and tear repairing will make sense. Now when you have done a quantified damage, then the raw material for the repair will come from the diet. So problem solved. I have a trainer and I will eat all the protein in the world. Yes, I will have an amazing body, right? Wrong. Because here comes another component of nutrition. Remember there was one more thing which was taught to us in the class fifth. That was the function of carbohydrates. Now the function number one is that carbohydrates provide us energy. Function 2, they have a protein sparing action. What's that? Now once we are done with the workout, our muscles have a lot of wear and tear which has to be repaired. But at the same time, there is one more thing which happens, that is our blood glucose also dips down. But since you can't stand straight for long if your blood glucose is too low, that is why whatever you eat first will be used for the energy or the blood glucose first and then after that for the repair. So, the protein sparing action of carbohydrate means that carbohydrates will give you energy for the increase of glucose and hence will spare the protein for its actual job which is muscle repair. So, frankly speaking, the entire approach of having a very high protein and very low carbohydrate diet is bullshit because you are eating costlier foods. Well, let's be honest, milk, chicken, lentils are costlier than oats, rice and wheat and at the same time, your body is using that costlier food for energy rather than its original job of muscle building. In the future videos, I will also go into the details of which carbohydrate you can choose and how you can choose them, how you can distribute them throughout your day. But right now, understand this thing that all our macronutrients, carbohydrates, protein and fats are important for your body functioning and we need all of them. 
Moving on, we have now created a quantified damage and we have provided raw material for the repair. But when will the repair happen? It will happen when you sleep. Why? Because that is the only time when you are not doing anything. And let me give you the shock of your life. It's not only the 8 hours sleep which is important. What? 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 Yes, there is a specific time for body repairing. And that is 3 to 4 hours after the sunset. And that process takes around 3 to 4 hours. And this whole process of body repairing and the body clock is called the circadian rhythm. You know, our body is the most amazing machine which has been ever made. We have signals for when we are hungry, when we are full, and when we are sleepy. And no, I am not talking about the moment when your eyes turn red at 2 am after that 4 hours of social media. I am talking about that mild desire to sleep between 9.30 to 11 pm for like 5 minutes. That's when your body is telling you, Sir, can you please sleep? I need to repair. But we are greedy. We want to scroll that one more post or watch that one more episode or finish that one more office report. But guess what? No matter how much of a study you are by saying that, huh, I can sleep for five hours and still be fine. If you don't get ample amount of rest, your body will not repair itself no matter how much of quantified damage you have done and how much of raw material you have provided for the repair. It just won't happen. And also your hunger hormones which are called leptin and ghrelin which tell your body when you are hungry and when you are full will also get disbalanced and you will get more cravings. So in a nutshell, you can bid farewell to your dream shape if you do not sleep properly. Next week, I am going to discuss sleep much in detail and all the science behind it so make sure that you come back and click the bell icon so that you know when I post the video. And yes, weight loss or body transformation requires a lot of knowledge of biology, chemistry, biochemistry, mathematics, psychology. I hope I have covered all. So basically, make sure that your fitness professional is thoroughly qualified. If you have made it this far, thank you so much for being there. And I remember that I had promised you a recipe in the end. It's gluten free, lactose free, fat free and very very healthy. So let's get started with that. First of all for this we need a bowl. In this we put 500 ml of water. In this water we put 4 ice cubes, exactly 4 ok. Give it a real nice swirl. There you go, H2O on the rocks, gluten free, fat free, calorie free and super healthy. I hope you get it now. If there is anybody who is promising you zero calorie foods to give you a body transformation, please run in the opposite direction because that doesn't happen. Not that water is unhealthy, but we need calories and we need all the food groups which give us calories, our macros, carbohydrates, protein and fats, we need all of them. Always have a healthy approach and remember success is not about achieving a result but success is about maintaining that result. And on that note, Manisha Mehta signing off. I'll see you next week. Until then, be a fit foodie and always remember I love you unconditionally. Bye!